Hi guys! In the previous video I showed you how to create and use a value scale when drawing um, and how to create um, values from very light to very dark. I will put a link in the description and at the end of this video to so that you have easy access to that. Now being able to create different values are a very important part of drawing. Whether you use pencils, colored pencils, charcoal or pastels. It's also one of the first things that beginners struggle a bit with um, due to the different pencil grips and muscle memory most. Now when we write, we hold the pencil one way and keep the value of the lines uniform. The lines don't go darker and lighter, the value stays uniform. This doesn't work when we draw. So there are three things that play a role in creating different values with confidence and eventually without thinking about it. That's what I will show you in this video. Um, drawing needs a little more from us than holding a pencil stationary in one position, making lines all of the same value. Now the three things that is on this list, the three things that help us and are important for creating different values is pencil grip, different grades of pencil and muscle memory. Okay, let me show you how to apply um, the pencil grip grips as well as the muscle memory, how much how hard you hold and press on the pencil or how softly you hold the pencil with a relaxed hand, relaxed fingers and how light you press. So let's start here by the nail. Can show you see I'm moving my hand forward, holding it in tripod position because I only want to use the tip Holding it pretty hard, pressing pretty hard on the pencil because I want it to go dark here. Oh, I'm going to use only one pencil, this is a big pencil. I want to go pretty dark here, so I'm pressing a little bit harder on the pencil. change the grip because now I want to use this side and I'm not going to hold it right there. I'm moving a little bit back and I'm not clenching the pencil, not holding it too hard. I'm relaxing my hand because now I want to go a little bit lighter, well actually a lot lighter. And on this side right here, okay, let's just do the lighter part first. So, I'm going to change my grip again to tripod grip. I'm not going to hold it right at the front, I'm holding it a little bit further back. But I st want to use the tip of the pencil now. And I want to make a shadow here. But I'm, it's not, it shouldn't be too dark. It's lighter than on this side, right? So I'm not clenching the pencil really hard. I'm relaxing my hand, but only enough that I have control, better control to press a little bit harder. To 
this line here is a little too stark on the nail side. On the other side here, on the next to the fingernail, there's a, a very white highlight, light highlight. But on this side, I want just want to soften the stark line on the nail side. So what I do is, it's a small area, so I don't need to hold the pencil in overhand position. I can hold it in tripod position, but I'm relaxing my hand because I want to go in softly and just feather out and soften that line a little. So just right next to the line. Adding a little bit more shadow. Right. So, um, what else? Oh, I can also show you the shadow between the fingers. So, tripod. I'm not going to hold it right there at the front because it's not too small. I'm going to hold it a little bit further back, but not so far back that I can't press harder. I need it to go darker, so right there is about the right position. I'm not clenching the pencil, but I'm I'm holding it pretty hard. I'm, I'm pressing on the pencil pretty hard, gripping it pretty hard, because I want to go about that exact same value there. and I'm just going to very lightly relax my hand completely. I can even hold the pencil like this so that I cannot press on it too hard. shadows I'm going to hold it in overhand position and relax the hand because it's a light light values so the darkest part of the value up there is right down the middle of the finger and then to the sides it's even lighter and the biggest shadowy parts Right there. Okay, now let's do the thumb. So the darkest part on the thumb is not as dark a value as this, but it's a little bit darker than that finger. It's right around the edge here, but it's a soft shadow. In other words, it, it's not. It doesn't have very crisp hard edges. Now I'm gradually relaxing my fingers even more to press even lighter towards the nail. 
how it works guys um, I think I'm going to time-lapse it from here otherwise it's gonna be a really long video See you. Okay guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful and that you learned something from it. Um, the big secret here is practice, 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 practice. You don't have to draw pictures when you practice these muscle memories, the muscle memories or the different grips of the pencil. You can simply just cover an entire page with lines and circles and whatever shapes you can think of and practice shading patches <laughs> let's call it that okay guys see you next time bye